The Miss Universe organization has a new owner and today we're talking all about that. Welcome to the channel, my name is Danny Walker. If you're brand new, please consider subscribing and hitting that notifications bell. And if you're preparing for your next competition, then check out my free pageant prep course that is linked in the description below. When I first heard this news, I felt like, yes, this is amazing. And then shortly after I thought, or is this really bad? I try to be positive, so I'm gonna go with amazing. Anne Jacopin, Jacqueline Tip. I'm trying my best to say her name, is a Thai billionaire who just bought 100% ownership of the Miss Universe organization. She is the head of the JKN Global Group Public Limited Empire which is a global content commerce company. It was reported that she purchased the pageant for $20 million. It's notable to mention that this is the first time a non-American trans woman has ever had 100% ownership or owned the Miss Universe organization. I know that is controversial for some, but I want to remind everyone to please be respectful with your comments, your words, matter. Let's always be uplifting and encouraging of one another. Here's what we know so far. The pageant has a new motto or theme for the year, which is one universe. I really like this theme. I feel like you could go a lot of places with this. I feel like it's a very versatile term that you can use to rebrand the pageant under the new ownership. I also want to mention that in the Philippines and in Thailand, it's not uncommon for their pageants to have different themes each year. So I'm wondering, is the One Universe theme the theme for this upcoming pageant or is it going to be something that we hear for years to come? Some people have been asking about the rules and regulations and what we know so far is that the Miss Universe organization is still allowing transgender contestants, married women, and divorced women to compete in the 2023 Miss Universe pageant. They are also keeping the newer motto of the Miss Universe organization, which is beautifully confident. In the past, that was confidently beautiful. As many pageant fans know, pageantry is celebrated in Thailand, and that is what gets me really excited for this new owner. Since the announcement, there was a press conference and there's been some information that has been released about how the organization intends to pivot and go forward. In my opinion, the Miss Universe organization has a lot of potential to be a highly profitable business. But in recent years, it seems like there's been a lot of missed opportunities in terms of the leadership and the direction that they wanna take the pageant in, which is why I believe that this pageant has switched hands a few times in recent years and there's been a lot of changes in the leadership. I'm gonna share with you some of the proposed changes in terms of revenue that I think are going to be necessary and really important for this organization to thrive. They are merchandising and licensing fees to products and services under the Miss Universe brand. There has been talk that there will be a Miss Universe brand cosmetics line. As part of the plan to increase revenue, there will also be a broadcasting fee, a Miss Universe program and format fee for the program Road to the Universe. This is something that I have talked about and I feel like other countries have done really, really right that the US has been so far behind on and I don't understand why. We have Hollywood, we have LA, New York, Miami, Atlanta. There's no reason that we cannot be producing content and shows based around the Miss USA pageant and the Miss Universe pageant. In the Philippines and Vietnam, for example, there are various series and shows that revolve around the road to the final pageant in their respective countries. And that is a change that I have wanted to see for the Miss USA and Miss Universe organization for a few years now. I feel like that's where things are going. We can stream shows now. You can get content through your phone. That's the way that most people are intaking their content. So I feel like the road to Miss Universe really should be on multiple platforms. There's so much content that can be made around this event to really hype it up and get the fan base growing again. Next, there will be talent management fees for the new Miss Universe. I've also talked about this a lot. I think that our title holders, whether they are reigning, whether they were top five or whether they were simply a contestant at a national or at the international level, I feel like there's so much talent there and it's going underutilized. 
these pageants can essentially be the talent representatives or agencies for so many pageant contestants and be promoting them in their country. And I feel like we are not doing that. We have really dropped the ball. Whereas in other countries, primarily in Asia, we see that a lot of their national title holders are booking ad campaigns and have all of these different opportunities because they are partnering with huge brands in that country as a result of their title and we need to see more of that. So that is what I am really hopeful for, for the new Miss Universe. Part of their plan to increase revenue is of course, ticket sales, franchising fees, hosting fees, production fees, and sponsorship fees. So if people want to sponsor the pageant, then they will be paying that sponsorship fee to get the advertisement during the show. If you think that this is going to be a positive change for the organization, comment universe down below. In a press conference, Anne talked about her vision for the new Miss Universe organization under her leadership. And if you wanna see this clip that I'm about to read to you, you can click the description below. I will link it to the Miss Universe Twitter page that posted this clip. I didn't watch the entire press conference, but this messaging seems like a direction that will be positive for the organization. Here's what she said. For 70 years now, it's the time that we lift the spirit of women on the stage and on the platform globally to show to the whole world that we are intelligent, we are beautifully confident, and we can be iconic women. To each particular country that you represent, we are the women that people can look up to. You can transform people's lives to the next level and can win over all the obstacles in life. I'm looking forward to having the transformational leadership in women. This is why I acquired the Miss Universe organization. It's part of my life mission that I would just love to empower, to teach, to lead, and to inspire all women in the universe. I thought this was very well said. This sounded like it could have been the potential answer to even an onstage question. And like I mentioned earlier, pageantry in Thailand is so popular. And I feel like there's a different level of respect for pageantry in Thailand. They embrace it and they're not pushing back against it. And so that makes me really, really hopeful. Also, there's been mentioned that the pageant will be held in Thailand every two years and that they also have venues already for the 2023 and 2024 pageants. I love going to the Miss Universe pageants, so I am really looking forward to returning to Thailand to watch Miss Universe. You don't understand how much I enjoyed my time there when I got to go to the pageant and watch Miss Catriona take home that Miss Universe title in 2018. I think this is so great because the Thai people are so welcoming and embracing of pageantry, and I feel like they are really going to put on an incredible show. And I will say that after going to the Miss Universe competition in 2018, that I could see for myself very clearly recognize the quality of production that Thailand puts into pageants. And this is not just true for the Miss Universe organization. Thailand puts quality productions on for all of their major national franchises. For example, Miss Earth Thailand has beautiful shows, as well as Miss Grand International Thailand their staging definitely rivals the Miss Universe pageant. I'm not even just talking about Miss Universe Thailand. I'm talking about their staging rivals Miss Universe in terms of quality, production, and entertainment. And so I feel like that is what they're going to be bringing to the Miss Universe organization. There has been mentioned online as well that there won't be many other changes to the pageant in terms of its structure, its format, areas of competition, scoring, or things like that at the pageant. So I'm happy for that. I feel like that's not what pageantry really needs. There's a lot of people who've loved pageants for years and the thing that's actually been turning off a lot of pageant audiences are unnecessary changes that aren't making things better for contestants or for the new reigning queen or doing anything to improve quality of the production. I'll also quickly mention that a lot of you have been asking for more Miss Universe episodes. They are coming, don't worry about that. But if you have specific requests for episodes, then just leave those in the comments below. 
The last thing I'll quickly say is that I've seen that in Thailand and in many Asian countries, the title holders are truly treated like royalty. And that is my hope for the new Miss Universe and for really all of the contestants that they can have an incredible experience. I hope to see things come back like evening gown portraits, glamorous photo shoots while they're at the competition and just really more behind the scenes and more events for the contestants to attend. So those are some of the things that I would like to see from this new organization. Let me know what you think though of the new owner and how you think the new Miss Universe organization is going to look from here on out. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. I greatly appreciate you and I hope that you'll come back for lots more. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell and I'll see you soon.